Well, car crashes are the leading cause of death to children here in America, and a lot of parents either buckle up their children the wrong way or simply don't do it at all. Six News anchor Lori Tucker is live in our parking lot right now with tonight's Caring for Our Kids. Lori. Hey, Kristen. Yeah, we have a lot to show parents that hopefully will be very helpful. It happens to be Child Passenger Safety Week right now, and experts say if you put your children in age-appropriate car seats, it could cut the risk of injuries by half. Joining us now is uh, Susan Cook from Children's Hospital to give us a little demonstration. And first of all, Susan, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Let's talk about what is age-appropriate. I know there are different steps that we need to know about. There are actually four steps according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and the first is infant. Uh, that infant seat can be a rear-facing infant carrier, that's one with a handle, or similar to this seat, a convertible that actually is rear-facing. child needs to be in that by minimum, one year, 20 pounds. That's okay. a minimum. The American Academy of Pediatrics really recommends they stay rear-facing till age two, and upper weight limit of the seat, which can be anywhere between 32 to 40 pounds. So they're five times safer rear-facing. Then they're actually gonna step up to go forward-facing in a harness, and they need to be in that harness till they're at least four years old, 40 pounds. And at that point, they can go into a booster seat, and that point, or before they come out of a booster, they need to be four feet nine or nine years old. And we're really looking for four feet nine. Four feet nine nine years old. A lot of parents do not have their children in these special seats at that age. In fact, a new study shows some results that bear that out. Yes, parents actually transition way too soon, whether it's forward facing way too soon, uh, out of a harness way too soon, or out of a booster. So, and parents need to realize this is an adult seat belt. That's not hitting at the right spot. It's not going to hit at the right spot. So if it's not hitting what we call built on bones, then it can cause a lot of internal injuries that can result in a lot of uh, life changing injuries injuries or even death. So it's really, really important to keep those kids buckled up and as safe as you can, as long as you can. All right, parents, this may surprise you as well. This same Safe Kids study uh, showed us just who is not restraining their children. Yes, actually, it's younger. Uh, very educated parents uh, with a very high income that are actually making some choices not to have their children restrained at all times. And they're thinking, you know, well, we're going just on a short trip or I'm just going down the road and saying, well, I don't really need to have them restrained this time, which most crashes actually will happen within 10 miles of home. So that's when you're at most danger. Absolutely. All right, Susan, thank you so very much. Really good advice. And, and before we go, I want to tell you that this is not uh, attached by a seatbelt. It's through a latch. And most cars since 2003 have the latch method. Do you prefer that over a seatbelt? They're both equally as safe as long as you're using them appropriately. So okay. latches just came about so it would be much easier for parents rather than to figure out how to lock this seat in. Yes. With adult seatbelts, they, they don't lock all the time. A child seat has to be locked all the time. And all vehicles, well, it's like I say, September 2002, are going to have this lower angle anchor and a mm -hmm. tether system, which is our latch system and that we can utilize. Thank you so much, Susan. Your car safety manual also will help you walk through that. At least most yes, of them will. will. And Children's Hospital has some free instructional uh, demonstrations. So just look on our website, wate.com, for more info on that. In the meantime, if you have a question about caring for your kids, send me an email at ltucker at wate.com. I'll be glad to look at it, check with Children's Hospital, and get you the information every Thursday here at 530. Kristen? All right.